Gratitude. It's a simple word, yet it holds immense power. When we approach life with a grateful heart, we open ourselves up to a world of blessings. Gratitude shifts our perspective. It allows us to see the good in every situation, no matter how challenging. Think about the feeling you get when someone expresses sincere gratitude towards you. It warms your heart, doesn't it? It makes you want to do more, to be better. The same principle applies when we express gratitude to God. It pleases Him. Gratitude is not just a feeling, it's a choice. Let's unlock the power of a thankful heart and experience the fullness of God's blessings. For us as Christians, gratitude is not optional. It's an essential part of our faith. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Notice it doesn't say give thanks in some circumstances or give thanks when it's easy. It says in all circumstances, why is gratitude so important to God? Because it reflects a heart surrendered to His will, a heart that trusts in His goodness even when life gets tough. When we choose gratitude, we are acknowledging that God is in control, that He is working all things together for our good, even when we don't understand it. Think about the story of the 10 lepers who were healed by Jesus in Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 19. Only one returned to give thanks. Gratitude is the language of faith. The Bible is filled with stories that illustrate God's unending goodness and faithfulness. These stories span from the dawn of creation to the promises of the future. From the very beginning, when He created the heavens and the earth, we see His hand in every detail crafting a world of beauty and order. To his unwavering love and provision for the Israelites, guiding them through the wilderness and providing for their every need. To the ultimate sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. God's goodness is woven throughout all of scripture. This act of love and redemption is the cornerstone of our faith. Psalm 100 verse 5 tells us, For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. This verse encapsulates the essence of God's character. This verse reminds us that God's goodness is not dependent on our circumstances or our actions. It is a constant, unwavering truth. It is an inherent part of who He is, a fundamental aspect of His divine nature. He is good, always and forever. His goodness shines through the darkest nights and the brightest days. Think about the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. His life was filled with trials and tribulations. He was sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused, and thrown into prison. Yet, he never lost faith. Yet, through it all, God's hand was upon him, guiding him and preparing him for a greater purpose. Joseph's story is a powerful testament to God's unwavering goodness. It shows us that even in the midst of suffering, God's plan is at work, bringing about good for those who trust in Him. I have witnessed the transformative power of gratitude countless times in my own life and ministry. It's a force that can change hearts, shift perspectives, and bring light into the darkest of situations. I've seen people who were facing insurmountable odds, overwhelmed by despair, experience a breakthrough when they shifted their focus from what they lacked to what they had to be grateful for. This shift in mindset can be incredibly powerful and life-changing. I remember meeting a woman who had lost her husband and her job within the same year. She was understandably devastated, feeling as though her world had crumbled around her. But instead of allowing bitterness and resentment to take root, she chose gratitude. She made a conscious decision to focus on the positive aspects of her life, despite the overwhelming grief she felt. She thanked God for the years she had with her husband, for the lessons she had learned in her job, and for the strength to keep going. Her prayers were filled with thankfulness, even in the midst of her sorrow. Her gratitude didn't erase her pain, but it gave her hope. It provided her with a sense of peace and a renewed sense of purpose. It allowed her to see beyond her circumstances and trust that God was with her, even in the midst of her grief. And you know what? God honored her faith. He provided her with new opportunities and a renewed sense of joy. When we choose gratitude, we invite God's presence into our lives. It opens the door for blessings and miracles and it transforms our hearts and minds in ways we could never imagine. Section 5. A God Who Never Ceases to Give God's goodness is not a one-time event, it's a continuous flow of blessings. Just like the sun that rises each morning, His mercy is new every day. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 23 remind us because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for His compassions never fail. 
they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. He doesn't get tired of giving. He doesn't run out of blessings. He is a God of abundance and he longs to shower us with his goodness every single day. Let's make a conscious effort to be more aware of God's blessings in our lives. For in doing so, we will begin to see his goodness in a whole new light. Section 6. Cultivating a Lifestyle of Gratitude Gratitude is not a one-time act, it's a lifestyle. It's about developing a heart that is constantly overflowing with thankfulness. A heart that sees the good in every situation. A heart that recognizes God's hand in every detail of life. So how do we cultivate a lifestyle of gratitude? It starts with making it a daily habit. Start each day by thanking God for the gift of life, for His love and for His faithfulness. Throughout the day, take moments to pause and appreciate the good things no matter how small they may seem. Keep a gratitude journal and write down all the things you're thankful for. Share your gratitude with others. The more we practice gratitude, the more natural it will become. And as our gratitude muscles grow stronger, we'll find ourselves experiencing more joy, peace, and contentment in our lives. Section 7. The Ripple Effect of Thankfulness Gratitude is contagious. When we choose to be thankful, it not only impacts our own lives but also the lives of those around us. Think about it. Have you ever noticed how someone's joyful, grateful spirit can brighten your day? Their positivity is infectious and it uplifts everyone around them. That's the power of gratitude. It has a ripple effect, spreading outward and touching countless lives. When we are thankful, we become a source of encouragement and inspiration to others. We create a more positive and loving environment, both in our homes and in our communities. Imagine a world where gratitude was the norm, where people focused on what they were thankful for, rather than what they lacked. So let your gratitude shine brightly. Section 8. Overcoming Challenges Through Gratitude Life is not always easy. We all face challenges, setbacks, and disappointments along the way. But even in the midst of difficulties, we can choose gratitude. When we choose to focus on what we're grateful for, even when our circumstances are less than ideal, we shift our perspective. We take our eyes off our problems and fix them on God's promises. Gratitude doesn't make our problems disappear, but it gives us the strength to face them with hope and resilience. And as we choose gratitude even in the midst of our trials, we open ourselves up to experience God's peace, comfort, and provision. Section 9. Gratitude the antidote to entitlement. In today's world, it's easy to fall into the trap of entitlement. We see others with more, do more, or achieve more, and we start to feel like we deserve the same. We become envious, discontent, and ungrateful for what we have. Gratitude is the antidote to entitlement. When we are grateful for what we have, we are less likely to covet what others have. We recognize that every good and perfect gift comes from God, and we are content with what He has provided for us. Gratitude helps us to appreciate the value of what we have, rather than focusing on what we lack. True wealth is not measured by what we possess, but by the gratitude in our hearts. Section 10. Living in a constant state of thanksgiving. Living in a constant state of thanksgiving is not about denying the challenges we face or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about embracing the reality of our lives with a heart full of gratitude. It's about choosing to focus on the good, to acknowledge God's hand in our lives, and to trust in His plan, even when we don't understand it. This means recognizing the blessings, both big and small, that we often take for granted. It's about waking up each morning with a heart full of gratitude for the gift of a new day. Each sunrise is a reminder of God's faithfulness and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. It's about finding joy in the simple things like a warm cup of coffee, a beautiful sunset, or a kind word from a friend. These moments, though seemingly small, are the threads that weave a tapestry of a grateful life. Living in a constant state of thanksgiving is a choice, a daily decision to align our hearts and minds with God's heart of gratitude. It requires intentionality and mindfulness, a conscious effort to see the good in every situation. And as we make gratitude a way of life, we will experience the transformative power of God's love and grace in a whole new way. This transformation brings a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose. We will find ourselves filled with joy, peace, and contentment, even in the midst of life's challenges. Gratitude shifts our perspective, allowing us to see the beauty in every moment and to cherish the journey we are on. 
Section 11. A Call to Unceasing Gratitude. My friends, let us embrace the power of gratitude and make it the anthem of our lives. Let us be known as people who are quick to give thanks, who see the good in every situation, and who inspire others to do the same. Let us cultivate a lifestyle of gratitude, not just for what God has done, but for who He is, our loving Father, our faithful provider, our ever-present help in times of need. The world needs more gratitude. It needs people who will shine brightly with thankfulness, who will spread joy and hope wherever they go. Let your gratitude be a beacon of hope in a world that so desperately needs it. Let us live each day with hearts overflowing with thanksgiving, knowing that in doing so, we honor God, bless others, and experience the fullness of His joy and peace.